Welcome to my channel and for some reasons you should have clicked this channel because you want to explore more on low carb lifestyle especially with a good food and nutrient dense food if you can stay with me let us cook together the pork ribs in barbecue sauce low carb style I have here 735 grams of baby back ribs which I seasoned with salt and pepper and these are the ingredients we will need garlic ginger tomatoes low carb sweetener salt pepper cocoa aminos and a low carb beer First, let us make a puree out of the ingredients and let us cut them into small pieces so as to be easy in the blender. Now, add this to the blender with some water, like maybe 300 ml of water. Add the blended mixture to our pork ribs and now add the low carb beer this beer only contains three grams of carbs per bottle add salt and pepper this time we will add our coco aminos this is our substitute for the soy sauce more healthy and low carb. Let us just put one half cup. Coco Ambinas is anti inflammatory, unlike the usual soy sauce. I will add now a sweetener, which is for me, I use erythritol. I just add two teaspoons just to have a sweet sauce in our barbecue sauce but still stay low carb let us put into the stove and boil for a while in high heat I'm doing this just so the heat can easily be distributed all throughout the pan Then cover for a while and let it bring to a rolling boil. Now that it has boiled rapidly, we can now start to lower the heat. Since I'm using an induction, I would like to go for the third lowest which is at 130 degrees and I will Boil it for 2 hours, meaning 120 minutes. I'm gonna use 2 rounds of this timer. We need to check from time to time that there should be a consistent boil. And I see that the 130 degrees earlier was too low, so I increased it to 200 degrees. And also, at times, I also increase to 500 degrees and back to 200 degrees. An hour and a half has passed, and this is the first time that I open the lid to see how the meat has tenderized. And it did. It did. It is now very tender and I'm just going to flip it to the other side so as to have a uniform tender texture all throughout the meat. The meat is really soft already and it tastes good, huh? We did well so far. 
While our meat is boiling for another 30 minutes, let me prepare the charcuterie board where I will put the pot crepes later. So we have completed to soften the pork and let us put into another container in order for the next process. We will have to pass into a strainer the liquid that is left over. And we will make this as our barbecue sauce. To do that, we just need to boil this for a while and have the water reduced to about more than half of it. And let's check the taste, of course. Mm. It needs a little salt. We will enhance the flavor by adding Spanish paprika to it, like a one teaspoon, and garlic powder. Garlic powder is my favorite of all. <laughs> Taste it one more time and mm -mm. yeah, this is just about what I need. We will need to boil it for some time and see that the water has substantially reduced. It has boiled for a while and let's check on our sauce. You can see that it has reduced substantially and it is now thick. Even though we did not add an, any thickener on it. Let me transfer this to our serving bowl. So we can rub some of this into our previously cooked or grapes. Now I'm brushing the sauce onto our meat and it smells delicious already. We need to put this first into a griller so as to blend the sauce into the meat. I placed it into a griller for about 10 minutes. And later, while it is grilling, let me prepare the side dish, which are just small carrots and young corn. I will just pan fry the vegetables in butter for like 5 minutes. We finished grilling the pork ribs and now let us assemble it be served for the dinner. So here it is, our dinner for tonight is pork ribs in barbecue sauce served with sparkling kombucha which has the flavor of ginger and lemon.
Let me know if you like the recipe or what you don't like in the recipe. And hope to see you soon. Bye!